what's going on everybody it's your boy matter 222 so it is now the calm before the storm in the theater waiting for black panther to start starting to pile up got about 40 minutes to go so uh you can see i got black panther repping on the shirt right there so yeah just a uh, quick quick shout out uh I'll have my review up later tonight, so check that out. And uh, actually, I'll probably attach this to the review. Yeah, so you're gonna watch your review anyway. You're already watching this, you might as well watch your review. So, yeah, uh, hope it's good, and I'll let, I'll let you know what I think. See you guys after. What is going on, everybody? I am back, as promised. I just got home from Black Panther. Uh, yeah, so I just got home from the movie. I want to give you guys my thoughts. I, I'm not going to go too much into detail because we're going to discuss this on the Sanctuary podcast, which, uh, if you're not, if, if you're not checking that out, uh, definitely check that out. So I don't want to go into too, too much detail. I'll kind of talk about what I dislike, what I like. I'm going to go spoilers in this video. So if you haven't seen it, then don't watch. Watch one of my other videos instead. Okay. So first things first. I really I really liked how they they really played off of his stealth. How much how it's not this is not a this is not like a Captain America movie this is not a Thor movie like they really played up how Black Panther is a different kind of hero you see you see he uses a stealth a lot so that was really cool the thing I love the most the females in this movie are the star I'm t I'm telling you guys the the Dora Milaje were the stars of the, not just them but Shuri too they were the stars of this movie they literally stole the show so really enjoyed that uh Killmonger as a villain very was very good I think he was one of the most sympathetic Marvel villains we've had at this point like you really man at the end of the movie you really feel bad for him like you really you really feel bad for him and you really get a sense like he got a raw deal i mean as a kid he f he finds his dad dead and then you know he, he he's just a kid who just wants revenge for his dad that he feels was killed unjustly and it's like you really get that sympathy from him so really good as a villain again they they go they go right back to that same marvel formula where they kill off the villain i don't know why they could have kept them i feel like they could have kept them alive they could have used them down the road i really i really thought they were going to keep them alive and then maybe in the next movie you could bring them back as more of an ally or something i i don't know but definitely uh they de they definitely take him out claw Again, same thing. I feel like they killed him off before he really even got a chance to not do anything. But just he had such a minor role in Age of Ultron. He does a little bit more in this movie, but he feels like I was really just starting to enjoy that character. And then he, he's, he's just gone. Just like that. Uh... The action was all really good. All the action scenes were good. They all felt really different. There's a stealth scene at the beginning where he, he's just basically taking out all these guys. And it's night. And again, like going back to that, like very stealthy. There's a couple of, of fights that take place on top of a waterfall. Very cool. Just the Hong Kong uh, car chase. All the fights felt really different every fight scene it didn't feel like i was watching the same thing uh what's that guy everett ross man I, I never i didn't think i would like that character i didn't think i could like that character as much as i did 
I really, uh, really dug him in this movie. Man, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what else to say, guys. Uh, it was definitely good, like I said. Killmonger, super sympathetic. I loved all the action scenes. All the female cast stole this movie. Oh, again, I don't know this dude's name, but the dude from Get Out, that guy is killing it so good in this movie. I'm, I'm telling you, that guy is going to go places. Like, he was so good in Get Out, so good in this just really enjoyed it uh man I'm trying, I'm trying to think if there's anything i'm missing oh the post credit scenes were kind of hit and miss they didn't really set up infinity war man, maybe a little bit like there's one scene where he's basically doing a press conference and he announces that like they're gonna share all of wakanda's assets and resort resources and then the second one is is basically we see we see Bucky and it looks seemingly like he's been freed from the from the the Hydra program or whatever you, whatever you call it I don't I don't remember it looks like he's not brainwashed anymore no sign of the soul of the soul gem soul stone whatever we know that's in Wakanda or at least we highly believe it's in Wakanda it's been pretty heavily hinted at that uh, the last Infinity Stone is in Wakanda. No sign of that. Yeah, I don't know what else to say, man. Cast was good. Uh, is there anything I'm missing? No. What did you think? Tell, tell the people what you thought. Mm, I thought it was a good movie. I mean, I would definitely go see it again for sure. I like the new suit. Mm -hmm. The suit was okay. Um, the technology was okay. I like the gorilla god guy, the man ape. Oh yeah, yeah, man ape. Man ape was crazy, man. Like he, he switches. Like you think he's gonna be a bad guy, but then every totally every was a bad guy. every totally. you know how like every superhero movie has that one moment where it's like you think oh, shit's about to get really bad or whatever. And there's that one moment that just kind of gets you in your stomach and you're like, yes. The moment where, of course, like the bad guys are winning and then uh, Man-Ape and his tribe, they come back. They come in and they help Black Panther. Like, oh man, that was just awesome. There's some rhinos. I know, right? Rhinos. Who would have thought? But yeah, some rhinos in there. I don't, I don't know. I can't. I can't think of anything else. It's just a good movie. You should definitely go check it out. Uh, stay for the post credits, as always. I, I don't. I don't need to tell you guys that. You, you. I'm sure you've seen enough Marvel movies. But yeah, they touch on civil. They touch on what happened in Civil War a little bit, but sure they don't I'm harp on it. Thanos, um, but we'll have to see Avengers to see what happens with that. Yeah. Yeah, Shuri was really cool, man. Really dug her. She was spunky. Was that she... Michelle? No, uh, the sister. Oh, yeah, she was okay. Yeah, really dug her. She was, like, spunky. She was pretty cool. Yeah, D Denia Guerrero, man. She was literally my favorite part of that movie. She was oh, just yeah. she was just kicking all kinds of ass. She was my favorite part of that movie. Michelle definitely kicked some ass. Yeah, so she was really cool. So yeah, like I said, I don't want to go. I don't want to go on too much. Uh, check out the Sanctuary podcast, guys, on Friday, because I think we'll pretty we'll go into this movie pretty heavy. Maybe maybe not this Friday. Maybe next Friday. So check that out. As always, guys, check out my other videos. I will have a new review for you guys on Monday. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I will have a new review on Monday. So check that out. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Show me some love down there, guys. Like this video. Share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. I want to hear I want to hear what you guys think of the movie. Uh, tell me if you disagree or agree with anything I said. And uh, that, that that's it, man. You, you, you guys have seen my face enough. Have a good one. Go see that movie. And that's it. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.